2022 BMW 2 Series starting at $37,345. With the 2022 BMW 2 Series, the German automaker makes its entry-level, two-door car even more satisfying. We even named it to our editor's choice list. It's still available with rear or all-wheel drive, and its turbocharged engine options include a 255 horsepower four-cylinder, 230i models, and a 382 horsepower straight six M240i. A convertible body style and a manual transmission option are both gone. Still, the new two coupe is just as entertaining to drive, and even more poised on the road. While it has a more distinguished facade and a modern interior, its back seat is actually smaller than its predecessor. As the follow-up to one of BMW's most affordable and satisfying machines, the 2022 2 Series lives up to those expectations. What's new for 2022? The 22 2 Series marks an all-new generation for one of BMW's most entertaining models. While we're happy to report it still comes standard with rear-wheel drive, the drop-top option has been dropped. Thankfully, the even racier M2 Coupe will return and could have a manual gearbox. We think the rear-drive 230i is the one to buy. Its 255 horsepower turbo 4 isn't nearly as quick as the 382 horsepower straight 6 in the M240i, especially without the added traction of all-wheel drive, we think it'll be similarly fun to drive with the addition of the dynamic handling and M Sport packages. The former requires the latter, but combined their mix of performance upgrades, bigger wheels on stickier tires, firmer suspension components, stronger brakes, etc., and unique visual treatments are highly desirable. Engine, transmission, and performance. The 230i features a 255 horsepower turbocharged 2.0 liter four cylinder and the M240i has a 382 horsepower turbo 3.0 liter inline six. Initially, the 230i is only offered with rear wheel drive, the M240i is all wheel drive only. However, both variants will eventually be available with each respective drivetrain. An eight speed automatic is the only transmission choice. Those looking to squeeze the most performance out of the 230i will want to choose the M Sport and Dynamic Handling packages that together include 19-inch wheels on performance tires, a sportier suspension, upgraded brakes, a variable ratio steering system, and an electronically controlled rear differential. Most of these goodies and more come standard on the M240i. We've tested the latter and were impressed by its quick acceleration, 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds, and more refined ride, but we wish it had better steering feedback. Fuel economy and real-world MPG. The rear drive, four-cylinder 230i is rated at 26 miles per gallon in the city and 35 miles per gallon on the highway. The all-wheel drive, six-cylinder M240i is rated at 23 miles per gallon city and 32 highway. Once we can run them on our 75 mile per hour fuel economy route, we can evaluate their real world highway miles per gallon. For more information about the 2 Series' fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo. Although BMW's interior design language isn't groundbreaking, it's enhanced by excellent build quality and satisfying ergonomics. Inside, the new 2 Series adopts the company's ubiquitous styling and layout. While a set of analog gauges are standard, a fully digital instrument panel that measures 12.3 inches and a head-up display are available. We only wish the front seats felt more supportive. Also, despite an increase in overall length and width, including a wheelbase that's stretched by 2.0 inches, the coupe's back seat has less headroom and legroom than the model it replaces. Infotainment and Connectivity The 2 Series' infotainment system runs through either a standard 8.8-inch touchscreen or an available 10.3-inch unit. Along with steering wheel controls and voice commands, the interface can be manipulated via a rotary controller on the center console that's surrounded by useful shortcut buttons. BMW also kindly includes a physical volume knob. Every model includes a subscription-based Wi-Fi hotspot, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a 10-speaker stereo. 
Those who want a more powerful sound system can upgrade to a 14-speaker, 464-watt Harman Kardon setup.